So this method is basically the it's also referred as the linear differential equation method for finding the general solution of any differential equation, specifically for only for our AHL syllabus. So now when you have an integration or, or differential equation of the form, let's say dy by dx plus some function of x times y equals to some function of x. Now, this is also referred as a linear differential equation. Linear differential, differential equation. So now let's say here is an example that I can take. Let's say dy by dx equals dy by dx plus two times y is equals to e to the power x. Now here, if I refer the function p of x is nothing but two and q of x is nothing but e to the power x. So what is the unique technique that we have for integration of this method is generally you, you find something called as integration factor. So integration factor is defined as uh, e to the power integration p of x dx. So this is the integral integration factor. So that's e to the power integration of two dx. Now if I integrate two x, um, that's that's a two uh, integration is nothing but two x. So the I integration factor here is e to the power two x. Now one step that you got to show additional is that you got to show this part here. You multiply this expression that I've got both the side by integration factor. So when I do that, I get like du by dx times e to the power two x plus two y times e to the power two x equals to e to the power x times e to the power two x. So now if you notice this part actually is nothing but the derivative of y times the integration factor. So this is nothing but y times, if you look at, uh, it's like y derivatives, if you hear it is product rule. So y times uh, e to the power two x times derivative of y plus y times derivative of e to the power two x. So that is nothing but y times e integration factor is equals to e to the power three x c. So when you find the general solution here, what we get is um, y times e to the power two x is nothing but integration of e to the power three x dx. Now I can just tell you the general solution you can remember a shortcut is that okay the y times integration factor is equals to integration of qx that is the right hand side here times integration factor and you integrate this. So this is the shortcut formula you can remember but you, I recommend you to show these steps. Now here the final answer is going to be um, y times e to the power 2x is e to the power 3x over 3 plus c. Now uh, you divide here by two uh, e to the power two x. So as a result of that, you get y is e to the power x over three plus uh, c over e to the power two x. So I already divided this by e to the power two x entirely. Um, so I, that's what I simplified to e to the power x. So this is how you do this. And obviously if they give you some particular condition, they'll give you a particular integral. Uh, that okay passes through one comma three or something, then plug x as one and y as three and to get the value of c constant c. So that's how.